this is not a test. What you are witnessing is live radio 106.5 FM. And this is the Indie Bow Radio Show with your host, Mitch Barnes, Kel G, Free, and I am DJ KDL. Let's get into it. Hi, this is Sonia Lindsay, author, Penetration for the Mind. Yeah, yeah. We got my co-host, Reek Havoc. Say hello to the people, Reek. Hola. Hola. He's in that mood today. <laughs> We're going to try to get as much as we can out of it. Probably recovering from single de Mayo yesterday. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> jumping Hola, off of cliffs. He, he wasn't jumping off of cliffs in Jamaica. He was jumping off of cliffs in Puerto Rico this weekend. So <laughs> that's what he do. Them tacos will do it to you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody bring some extra toilet paper in. <laughs> uh, we got two barrels in here. You good. Don't worry about it. I might have to use both. So, Sonia. Yes. Uh, give the people all your uh, social information and stuff like that so they can uh, log on and um, so they can get a feel for it as we go along with this interview. All right. Well, I am on Facebook under author Sonia Lindsay. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at Sons, which is S O N E S 310. And you can follow me on Snapchat at Sonia310. Y'all got that? Did you give me a website? Um, you can just go directly to my Facebook page and okay. connect me through there. Pull the mic back, get comfortable. Yeah. Okay. No, it's up here. You okay. get, com get comfortable. Okay. The mic stretches. You comfortable, okay. sure? Yeah. Okay. okay. So um, this is how we gonna do something. We gonna do something different this time because we had a lot of authors up here. I'm an author. I guess my co-host they some 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 form of writers and stuff. <laughs> so we gonna do something that we never did before. We gonna let Sonya read her synopsis of her book. Do you you wanna do that, Sonya? Sure. All right, here we go. All right. So in penetration for the mind, you will enjoy the exciting stories of love, lust, and passion. Explore the lives of exhibitionist women and men. I have one hello can turn into a night of passion. Let the stories penetrate your imagination with each page. These stories will have you wanting more from the married couple trying to spice up their relationship to, to the single women and men looking for love and finding lust. Each story gets steamier than the last, so get comfortable and enjoy the tales of spontaneous, exciting, and passionate sexual adventures. These stories are great for reading alone or enjoying them with your lover. Author Sonia Lindsay does a great job with, in, with giving a balance of telling a story and including steamy sex scenes to keep the reader intrigued for more. Sometimes sex can be dangerous, so you never know how the story may end. Penetration for the Mind is the first volume of the author series of short stories. Hold up. Hello? Yeah. We, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Your ears right. messed up now? You write triple X books. <laughs> 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 oh, let's, let's see what you're going to say. What kind of books is you write? Surprise! He awoke now, right? Yeah. <laughs> and where do you get the inspiration of material from to write these Dang. books? Yo, he go let's far in it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Yeah! <laughs> he missed that meeting. He missed that meeting right yeah. there. <laughs> And don't forget the eight by tens. Yeah. <laughs> so what we gonna do so we can, get, so we can bring my brother up to speed. We gonna get into this song and we gonna come right back to y'all. Yeah, yeah. Penetration for the mind. Yeah, We right back at it. We got the author, Sonia Lindsay. Hello. That's correct, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. We threw my, my co-host for a loop real quick. Yeah, now, you gave me a gag going. Yeah, <laughs> now, we had, now we, had to, we had to bring you up to speed and everything good now. Um, so we're going to get right to this interview with her. Uh, uh, oh, you read the synopsis. So we want to know, let the audience know where you grew up at. I grew up in Chester, PA, not too far from Philly, for those that's not from this area listening online. Um, I, my father was in the Army, and I was born actually in Washington State, wow. and lived in Georgia until about five, and then I moved to Chester, and been there 
Yeah. And let me tell you something about Chester, right? It's like Philly, so. <laughs> She's actually from Chester, PA, Philadelphia. <laughs> wow, 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 out there. But it's all good, though. So, um, can, can you give the audience a little bit about your, uh, your educational background? Sure. Um, well, I went away to college out in... What um, college was it? I went to Waynes Waynesburg College. is near Pittsburgh. Okay. For... 45 minutes from Pittsburgh. Okay. So I went there for my bachelor's degree. I have a bachelor's degree in mathematics. Um, and that money. <laughs> well, go ahead. My fault. Go ahead. <laughs> After I graduated, I came back home um, and I enrolled in a master's program. Um, I got my master's degree from Strayer University while I worked full time. I have a master's degree in business management. Hold yeah. on, don't none of those guys get me right. <laughs> yeah, I, no, they no, don't. None of them got to finish. Because that's going to bring up my next point. That'll finish so we. Not at all. That'll, that'll finish so we can get to this next point real quick. Go ahead. Yeah, so <laughs> I got my master's degree, and um, so I have a day job outside of writing. Okay. <laughs> and But I writing is a passion of mine, yes. Okay, so with that said, we wanted to ask you with that type of background, what made you get into writing then? Well, um, writing again, I've been writing, I want to say, since I was younger. Um, I've written poems, I've written, um, I had a journal when I was younger, so okay. it was just something that was always a part of me. Right. Um, now, when I started writing actual fictional stories, okay. um, was about 2012, oh, okay. and I was going through some stuff in my life, Okay, <laughs> and it was kind of an outlet, um, I was going through a separation, divorce from my ex, okay. and, I used, like, oh, <laughs> and I used it as an outlet, and I used it as an outlet, um, just, I don't know, the stories kind of came to mind. <laughs> I understand, because me being an author, I know, like, my first book is nothing but therapy, so sometimes it'd be, like, so much cursing and hate and all this, and at first I was like, well, I gotta change this stuff, I'm getting older, then I thought about it, like, no, that's therapy. You gotta keep that stuff there. Don't edit it out. Nothing. That that once you write it and get it over with, you can move on to the next thing. But I had wanted to ask you. So you gave us a little bit about the journal writing. But when was the first time ever you wrote something and you were like, you know what? I, I could really, I could, I could become a writer. I could do this. Like, how old was you and where was you at? Like, and what was it? Um, I would say when I think about it over the years. Um, the first time I wrote something that I felt was worth the reading by others, right. um, it was a story um, that's included in my book. Um, should I say the title? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, long as you don't curse me. There's it. no, no curse or anything. <laughs> so the title was called, oh, well, the title is called I Just Want to Kiss the Tip. So, okay. oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I wrote it and I had to read it over to myself like, did I just write this? This sounds crazy. Right, now how old did you write yeah, it? Yeah, how old was um, it? Well, I wrote it in 2012. Okay, so, that was yeah. the first thing you wrote. I got you on that was yeah. the first story that I felt, the first thing I felt was like, yeah. I now you said that you was uh, coming off of a divorce and a breakup. Yeah. And the first thing that you wrote. <laughs> Uh, how did you get? I'm trying to. I like to see people's uh, train of thought. Timeline, right? You train of thought. Yeah. 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 What you was like in a sunken place in your life, and you was talking about that. Well, it was um, kind of a fantasy. Okay. So because I was going through such issues and relationships, you know, I was fantasizing about if things were better, what I wanted things to really be like. Yes. Exactly. So you know, that story was kind of a inspiration for that and then I just went on to write different stories after that. Man, was that like a love letter? Did you send him the story? No, I didn't. Okay. That wasn't a, a story about him. But <laughs> so that, so, or, was that a story or just, was it a short story? It was a short story. Okay. Yes. So was what was what's the name of your first novel? The first novel is Penetration at Fort of Mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when did you write that? I completed that in 2014. Okay and published it 2015, um, December. Right, and how long did it take you to write that? Um, I want to say over about two years okay. to That's get the whole average, yeah. thing together. 
Okay. So you self-publish? Yes, I am. Um... She got a master's degree in mathematics. <laughs> you want to ask her? And she's like, <laughs> I don't know. Boy, you don't know. Now, uh, what type of uh, uh, obstacles <laughs> do you feel like you had to go through uh, publishing your first book? Well, um, well, actually, I didn't start at self-publishing. I had oh. um, first someone reached out through through um, Facebook, and it was this publisher in Ohio, and he actually, you know, offered an opportunity to help me publish my book. Um, so I published the book through him in December, but then in February of 2016, we went our separate ways, and I republished the pub the book myself self-publishing but he did tell me you know gave me some good information on how to publish the book myself right. and what avenues and what um, what ways I could publish it so um, but to answer your question it's a lot of um, it's really hard to market yourself at times because trying to build up a following reach out to people giving pe people support is um, sometimes challenging yeah so what yeah. made y'all go y'all separate ways? Well, he wanted to focus more on his own projects. Okay. And I'm a go-getter, and I can't wait yeah, around like for somebody else. Book. Yeah. I, 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 I know a heck honest. of a way that you can market these books. <laughs> you okay. got to have visuals to go with the books. You yeah. got visuals. Yeah. You got visuals? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's get, yeah. it, let's get into that, then. Okay. Like, let's get okay. into that. I should have brought him up speed. Yeah, like, 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 I'm, I'm about to put on another uh, 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 music. <laughs> so for it's like, I'm with you. Listen, so, yes. she, she, can you tell me a little bit about, like, your modeling that you've been doing? That's the reason that me and your friends now. Yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yo, <laughs> like, yo, yo, hold on. It's getting deep. It's getting pull deep, man. Pull out your phone, man. You ain't <laughs> following to uh, go for the book. No, that's what she just asked me. She just asked me. She wasn't going for the book. She was going for the looks. What? I was going for the looks. Listen, well, well, that's that's how you did that. Is that how you get all I guess? Yeah, yeah. You're getting tricked by the looks. And yeah. then you go for the looks. See, I guess so the listen, marketing is working. So huh? Listen, yeah. yeah you gotta do it. Yo, you pull, pull up, pull up. Can you give me a social media information so you got to stay where this interview going at? Right. Check out the social media. I'm just asking questions for okay. the fans okay. that wouldn't know okay. what's listen, going on. She asked me, like, how, why did I reach out to her? First of all, I told her, you know, I'm, a, I'm an author and anything, but she's been my friend for, like, at least, like, maybe going on a year of that. But I, I friend her because she do, she don't have average pic pictures. She have like modeling pictures. Can so you, you friend her because you a creep? <laughs> yeah, whatever. You listen, can you tell? Can you tell? Yeah, I, listen, yeah. all my friends, I don't be, I don't be friends with them. them, 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 them. Look, <laughs> like, we get into that later. I let you see my Instagram page. But can you tell them what's behind all those uh like very well professional taken pictures that's on your own um, brand and stuff? Oh uh, yes, well, I do some plus size modeling. Um, I actually been modeling since I was in college. I we had wow. fashion shows when I was in school from my freshman year to my senior year. I modeled in the shows. My senior year, I produced the show. So I always had a love for modeling. So about 2011, right. I have a friend. He does photography, and he asked me to come do some modeling for him. So that kind of how it started. Right. And from there, um, he had a. A photographer friend asked if I wanted to model for him and then with social media a lot of photographers reach out to me say can you come model for me get some I free pictures <laughs> right. you know yeah, yeah. I don't mind okay. and then I done that some one? shows no, I did <laughs> <laughs> I've done some shows in Philadelphia <laughs> yeah, so um, I did a fashion show last year in Philadelphia um, in Ever since then, I kind of just been doing little things in in Philadelphia with different uh, photographers and a couple of fashion shows, some designers. So yeah. Okay, I yeah. got. Let me ask you this question real quick. Now listen, <laughs> you go from friend of someone because they have some very professional That's pictures. Funny. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> she has some very professional pictures, right? Uh -huh. Then all of a sudden you feel. Then you you see you start. You know you friend her. Y'all been friends for a while. Then all of a sudden you see she author. Like okay, she author. She got a nice picture. She author. Then you get a bio, and she educated. But did you? Yeah, listen, did you listen. Poke her let, on Facebook. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Let, me finish. let me finish. And then after that, you know how when when they go live, that ruins the whole fantasy. <laughs> She went live. She was cool. All right, well, I gotta get her a call. I look like me when I went live. Yeah, you look like you. Okay. You sounded very intelligent. <laughs> Wasn't no. 
distortion, like how I be having fantasy. Yeah, she humanized your fantasy. Yeah. She was like, hold up. <laughs> hold talk good and now listen, crazy. let's get into that. You ain't never have a friend on Facebook and they went live and you're like, oh my God. Nope. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He, he, can't, he can't say that kind of stuff right now. Nope. He, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry about that. Uh, all right, the pictures up here, though. Let me see. Nope. Yeah, I already see him. All right, you're late in the game. All right, let's get back to the interview, man. Because we, we, this is a conversation. Me, me and you need to have all the. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm talking about this guy right Hey, the air on 63 and you still sweating, man. Yeah. Yeah, you need to turn it down a couple more, a couple more notches. So um, can you tell about? can you tell the people a little bit? Art right, is your novel Penetration of the Mind. Is it short stories or is it straight through like story one, like a novel? Well, Penetration for the Mind. Okay. People usually get it. They say Penetration of the Mind. Penetration for, for the, the mind. mind. Okay. Yes. So the book is short stories. So it's nine different stories. Each story has different characters and different plot lines. Wow. So you can read a story today, put it down. And then next week, read another story. So it's not a continuation. So, you know, you can take time to read it or you can read it through one setting. So Right, so it's nine different stories. Yes. So just average, how many characters, characters in the whole story? You know? um, each story, well, most of the stories have about two or three characters. Okay. Um, a couple of stories have a little bit more. I uh, didn't bring a whole lot of characters in each story since right. they are short stories. Okay. I kind of like to give to the point. Right, right. But a couple of the stories do have about three because there is some cheating in some of the stories. Okay. So <laughs> So was it hard to make nine stories with just say a lot of characters and you gotta actually go into the mind and, and, and like you know like make them different and like was it hard? And how long did that take to do that? Um for some reason You don't I have any help with these short stories at all? I didn't have no help, no. Wow. No. No help. Okay. Um, a lot of the stories, well, well, all of the stories are fictional, um, but some of the situations that happen in the story are from personal experiences or from friends, right? Okay. People that I know, so I may know somebody that that have, have that has happened to. Right. So I was like, I can use that situation. Let me just change a lot of stuff around. Um, and then other things, I just I just thought about it. I have a story which is from a man's point of view. Oh, okay. It's called That Feeling. So the man is actually telling the story. And wow, okay. um, that, was that Was that hard? That wasn't hard. <laughs> Men, it's not that hard to think like a man. I Ooh. think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how did you know how I'm saying Yeah. yeah we, we well, to... well, I have pillow talking to her. And, you know, they've been pillow talking to her. I have men friends. I, I've dated now enough did, men. Now, did anybody ever come to you like, yo, you talking about me? I did have someone <laughs> think, about, think I was talking about them, but she I wasn't. wasn't. Okay. I wasn't. I was like, no. <laughs> that wasn't about you. Okay, so you were, we we touched a little bit about your um, <laughs> people that inspired you. Uh, no, we didn't. You no, know, we didn't. We talked about her inspirations, what got you to start writing. So, can you give the listeners a couple of uh, authors that inspired you, or actors, or, or anybody in the team yeah. business? Mr. Yeah. Marcus. He's okay. He's woke. No. <laughs> One of my favorite authors is Zane. Um, okay. She does, you know, some great, great books. I've been reading her since I was about 18. Um, actually, I just did a uh, writing class with her online. Okay. Um, so I learned, actually, it was a four week writing class, and just within that writing class, I learned so much um, with developing my, helping me develop my characters for my next book and things like that. So she's one of my favorites. Eric Jerome Dickey, Omar Tyree, um, Tarek McMillan, those are, you know, one of my, some of my top favorites. Um, actors and actresses is just so, so many to just narrow right. down, so. So, um, yeah, at least you ain't say the, the regular ones they always say. So, um, what's next for you for as far uh, as books? It's concerned. Yes, my um, next book, Mind Games, is coming out shortly. Okay. Um, I'm just finishing up um, some of the stories. I have majority of the book done. It's just a few stories I'm finishing up. I just don't want to put anything down on paper, so right. it's taking me a little longer than what I wanted. Um, I had planned to have it out in March, but it 
taking me a little bit longer. Hold on, you say you do not want to put it down on paper? I don't want to just put anything, anything down. Anything down, yeah. yeah. Like rush no. it. Yeah, Copy exactly. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to... Um, so that's your process. You don't like to just... Yeah. You don't like to write anything and then yeah. edit it out later. You want all your complete thoughts of what you think the finished product should be. You yeah. wanna, well, That's what you want to write down. That's how I write. Um, so do you have a yeah. specific process that you follow when you write? Um, like you got to be like in a certain zone or mood or something like that? Or place? Um, a certain mood, yes. Oh, we know what mood you <laughs> That helps. <laughs> um, a place, I can write anywhere. Um, sometimes I write outside. Um, Just don't do now, it in the bedroom. <laughs> With what? Um, if I'm on location somewhere, I'm using pen and pad. Okay. Um, when I'm home, my laptop. Okay. Yeah. Versatile with the writing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's decent. My first book, Penetration for the Mind, actually, I wrote that, um, I wrote different stories um, at the time. When I first started, I was working in Philadelphia, so I was taking public transportation. Okay. So I was writing on a bus, like, so on my way to work. With Penetration of the Mind, what do you want your readers to walk away with? Um, well, with the book, I want people to, one, think outside the box, um, get um, outside of their comfortability and think about maybe trying new things in their own personal relationship okay. sexually. Or when they're reading some of the books, say, I'm not going to do that because right. I don't want that to right. happen to me. Okay. So it's some happy endings and some not so happy endings in the story. So, gotcha. you know, I want people to kind of get inspired, but also kind of think of, oh, that's a warning, I shouldn't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get into this song and come right back with the author, Sonia Lindsay. Indie Vote Radio, every Saturday from 6 to 8 p.m. Live on 106.5 WPPM LP, Philadelphia. So yeah, welcome back to Indie Vote Radio live on WPPM LP, Philadelphia on 106.5 FM. You can also tune in online at phillycam.org forward slash radio for slash listening. Then where they can find that, that, that last spot at Kel? Also the TuneIn Radio app. Just go download the TuneIn Radio app and do a search for Philly Cam and you'll find us right there. Right, right. We right back with the author of Penetration for the Mind, Sonya Lindsay. Sonya, I got a question for you. Um, Outside of writing novels, what are you planning on doing next or you would like to do? Well, I would like to um, write a script for either a play or a movie. Okay. Um, a play? I, yes. Gonna... <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Whoa. We can work some stuff out with some stories in my book. Yeah. <laughs> start. 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 He got. He was. Quick, he was quicker to the draw. I'm trying to get him with that joke. Yeah. Oh, I was lucky. I'm okay. okay. already in here doing push-ups, trying to get him play. Play movie. Yeah, wow. I'm starting. Jason. Yeah. He want to audition first. Try <laughs> <laughs> to audition. Huh? Okay. Yes. Yes. I um did a writing class online with Zane, um, okay. the author, and she gave me some great inspiration, some um different examples of how to um put a play together, how to write it. So. I definitely would like to go that avenue as well. Okay. Um, one more time, give everybody a, uh, if they wanted to find out more about everything that you're doing, can you give them the information and all the outlets slowly yes. so they can hear okay. it and understand? Got gotcha. you. Go ahead. So you can go to my Facebook page. It's author Sonya, S-O-N-Y-A, Lindsay, L-I-N-D-S-A-Y. Or you can go to my Instagram and my Twitter, which is both S O N E S 310. Or you can follow me on Snapchat, it's Sonia 310. Okay, all right. Again, thank you for coming out. Sonia Lindsay, author you. of Penetration for the Mind. Peace. Je. This is not a test. What you are witnessing is live radio 106.5. And this is the Indie Bow Radio Show with your host, Mitch Barnes, Kel G, Reef, and I am DJ.
JK 